A lot of power banks are available in the market, but this one stands out among the rest. When we travel, our smartphones drain so fast since we use them frequently in taking pictures, videos, and more. Thus, power banks should be included in our must-have so we won't run out of battery in capturing wonderful memories in our travel. It is compact and indeed lightweight. And this is the QI KP Supercharger. Hello Tuminatics! Welcome to another video of Tech Review. And at this time, we're going to review a power bank. I have been using this for more than a month. And here it is. So this is the box of the power bank. And let's see what's inside. So first, we have the user manual and the power bank itself i bought it online for 1099 pesos i'll put the link in the description below let's take a look at the power bank so this is the wireless charging pad where you're going to place the back of your smartphone if your cell phone is capable of wireless charging and next this is the on and off button this is the LED indicator if how much percentage is left and we have two USB ports and this one is the type C port and this is the LED indicator and what I really like in this power bank is that it has its own plug at this time, let us try the charging speed test of the power bank. So the phone that I am using is Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and its capa battery capacity is 4300mAh. It can be fully charged from 0% to 100% for about 1 hour and 14, uh, 14 minutes using its own super fast charging wall adapter and at this time the percentage of my cell phone is uh, 72 as you can see here it's 72 percent now let us charge it first using the wall adapter okay let's, let's plug it in So as you can see, so my cell phone can be fully charged for about 36 minutes. And let us see if how much minute it will be fully charged using the uh, power bank. So let's remove this. And let's connect the type C to the port so it's charging as you can see uh, the phone can be fully charged for 46 minutes so how impressive it is so it's still a fast charging now let's try to uh, charge it in the USB port. So I'm gonna use uh, an adapter here. And let's plug it in the USB port. What's this? 
Check your charger connection. Make sure that the cable and charger are properly connected. Mm -hmm. Let's plug it again properly. And let's try. So it won't charge but it's charging still charging well uh, this phone can be charged for oh my goodness for two hours and nine minutes so the difference in the type c and in usb is too far now Let's try to charge this phone using a different uh, power bank. This is an original Ramos power bank. So it will be fully charged for 2 hours and 9 minutes. So let's try it out. So we're gonna plug it to the fast charging port. and it charges our phone so let's see okay it's the same almost the same in the USB port in the power bank it can be fully charged for about 2 hours and 8 minutes. So at this time, let us charge this phone wirelessly. Okay. Surprisingly, if you're going to charge this phone for wirelessly it can be fully charged for one hour and eight minutes as you can remember uh, it is one hour faster than the fast charging of this uh, power bank and also this one so as I have observed this is the fastest charging in this power bank and this is the second one and this is the last one. I'm going to give the pros and cons of this power bank. So first, uh, it has a wireless charging feature. Actually, I'm not fond of it but sometimes we can use it. For example, you're going to dip your cell phone into the water because you want to take a picture or a video under the water so th your phone will notify you not to, not to charge your cell phone uh, through wire so that's the time you can use the wireless charging feature of this power bank because it's safer to use if your cell phone is still wet and next <clears throat> this power bank has a type c uh, port as you have seen a while ago the type c has the fastest charging among other ports and next so this power bank is small compact and lightweight it can be used as your daily power bank and especially for those who are heavy user and the last one most of all it has its own plug uh, this power bank charges itself you don't need any charges any charger to charge this power bank so that's my favorite feature for the cons, this power bank it has low capacity. You know, I wish the manufacturer made it bigger because 6,700 mAh 
is not enough for my cell phone. It can only charge for about one and a half. How about you? What are your thoughts about this power bank? Leave your comments below. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and also click the like button. I hope to see you on my next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!